This exclusive video was sent to us by the homeowner of the Airbnb that Tammy Dominic was living in at the time of her arrest. This is in Mesa, Arizona. Dominic was arrested last week on a felony warrant out of Iredell County, which was issued after she allegedly scammed a Huntersville family with a terminally ill child. Liliana Pearson has been digging into the story for months now. Liliana, we know you've talked to nearly a dozen people who claim Dominic scammed them, and today another Mecklenburg County family is coming forward. Tammy Dominic right now is sitting in the Mesa, Arizona jail waiting to be extradited back. Back here in Mecklenburg County, several families are anxiously awaiting her return because according to them, she not only scammed them, they believe that she targeted them because they have children with special needs. Eric Lur says the first time he learned about Tammy Dominic is when Dominic claimed she was organizing a fundraiser for the family of this little girl. Ella Rose. Ella Rose has vanishing white matter, an extremely rare brain disease with no cure. Lur says he thought the fundraiser would raise money for Ella Rose and awareness about the disease. But according to Ella Rose's family, that didn't happen. They claim Dominic stole nearly $3,000 and ran. Dominic is also accused of now looping in Lur's family. Supposedly, she claims she would support their child with special needs too. Really, she's a despicable human for doing that. Eric and his wife Suzanne run Lure's Wicked Wicks. It's a candle company that helps raise money for autism awareness and employs people with special needs. Eric tells me Dominic wanted their candles to be part of the fundraiser and told them she would also help fundraise for their daughter Rylan, who is nonverbal and autistic. They say they started to get on board, but they noticed some red flags. Typically, when you've got a, a big vendor event like that, they're running ads and promotions, all things she wasn't doing, and she just wanted more and more money. The Lures claim they had already sent her money for the fundraiser, and they hired her to work on their website. But with no results, they backed out, and Dominic was around $1,600 richer. Anyone who would take advantage of a family with a child with special needs is uh, a certain type of person. He says that $1,600 would have gone to therapies and appointments that would have made their child's life just a little better. We watch her struggle 34 hours a week in therapy. It's a struggle. Everything's a struggle. The holidays, she's struggling. The days after the holidays, she's struggling. Going to the store, she's struggling. We don't need to spend money to struggle even more. That's it's not, it's not fair. People like that should be stopped. Today I spoke with the Iredell County Sheriff's Office. They told me they don't know when Tammy Dominic will be back in the state, but they do have her on the most wanted list. Right now, Dominic does have a court date on January 4th in Mesa, Arizona. Then police here are waiting to see if she will fight extradition. If and when she makes it back to North Carolina, I'm told they plan to fully interview her, do a full investigation, at which point they will release a full statement. I'm Liliana Pearson, WBTV, on your side. Well, Liana, thank you.